I've been in business for three and a half years now. I just kind of saw like a need and I'm naturally like curious and I do like lots of like researching through online, but also I learned a lot from a local herbalist here in Tucson that has been an herbalist for 20 plus years. Kind of asked her all the main basics. From there, I just kind of experimented, a lot of experimenting, a lot of just combining years of like learning about plants and their uses. So it's, yeah, it became kind of a slow, long process, but it wasn't all at once. <laughs> With all the herbal products that I make, I um, use a variety of different desert plants that I sustainably forage for. Mostly just different varieties of creosote, prickly pear, desert wildflowers I use in a few of them too for decoration but also for the medicinal qualities. I make different fragrances, skincare, hair care, prickly pear fruit lip balm, that one's really popular, um, desert rain herbal fragrance, so that's like a spray. I care about the plants that I work with, and so I've slowly built like long-term relationships with a lot of different creosote plants and prickly pear and a lot of the plants that I use. I try to harvest sustainably, so I just take like a tiny amount from each plant. I thank each plant when I take a little bit from them. I try to give back, like I grow most of the plants that I use too. Yeah, I'm super grateful because it's so rewarding like to work with plants in general. There's so few people that do that and I just want more people to be aware and to take care of like the earth in general and realize that there's so much to nature and so many different connections that can be made and being outdoors is very important and making connections with plants and place. <laughs>